everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to Creed Zoo. Uh, today we are building a habitat for our Japanese macaque, which we have not yet bought. Currently, or we know we've bought them, but there are no females on the market, which kind of sucks. Um, so I'm just hoping in the near future there will be females appearing on this list, that's pretty good. We also had a bit of a problem with our uh, lemurs. There were, a lot of them were really sick, so I put them onto quarantine, then we got protesters. Because the quarantine took so long, because it was all queued up all the way to here, so like, whoa. Luckily they're gone now, uh, it did cost us some money, but it, it is what it is. We're making a lot of money, that's good. So back here, we have this lovely waterfall area with the mountains, and we've built this uh, Chinese pangolin habitat, which still no one has been looking at. Like, excuse me, this habitat is freaking gorgeous. And these animals are so cute and no one is looking at them, so that's, that really sucks. We do still have one notification of the timber wolf habitat, and for some reason this keeper is just... I don't even know where he is, but he's not doing his job. And it's really, really annoying me. Oh. Something happened with you, I don't know why that happened, but okay. Uh, we are actually going to build a little bit of a mountain area back here. Um, just because the Japanese macaque like to live in hot springs and I kind of want to replicate this. But then also over here with the pools and the waterfalls and all that stuff. So we're going to try to do that. Like I said, uh, it's probably not going to be perfect right now, but that's okay. We have time. Oh, and there is actually a video on my channel on how to uh, landscape, what all the different landscape options do. Cute! I didn't even know I had babies. How did I not know this? Well, of course these animals don't like it yet, that is perfectly normal. Uh, let's see... <clears throat> I will start Japanese Macaque with placing food for you, or food platforms for you. We will place it here because that way the guests are able to view it, which I like. Obviously you're gonna need water. We'll place it a little bit more above in here. Heat is in coolers. You're gonna need some coolers because you guys like it cool. There. Bed and shelter. Do you have natural? No, you don't have natural shelter. Um, we could very easily fix that though. Just put this in here and then we'll have a little cave. Does this count as heart shelter? It does, that's good. Uh, I will put some leaves in there. And also some hay bedding. Let's mix it up a little bit. Yeah. They can sleep in there. And then enrichment items. We'll place a ton of these. Ooh. Hot water tap, that's nice. And we'll place one of these up here as well. We'll also, in a minute, we'll put some smoke, uh, actually, um, some smoke machines in here. I don't know why it's placing there, because I want it there. Let's see. Ooh. That's nice. Put a little sprinkler down here. And just put these in. Love the little keyboard as well. Food box enrichment. Love this thing. Place it here. So what the heck, why is that just floating in midair? That's very strange. Why is it floating there? That's so weird. That's way better. 
Uh, let's see. A little bit of fruit spike thingy. Ooh, and a box. They like boxes. There. And then we'll do the climbable things um, last. I don't actually want that right now yet. We do need to um, make our glass a little bit higher. Same with here. Uh, now I don't think it is escapable anymore for them. Hopefully. We'll notice sooner than later. Nope, not escapable anymore. That's good. And we can make sure that with climbable things, they can, uh, climbable access, they can actually go up here. So that's good as well. So let's go to the constructions and uh, actually go to a special effects ambience. This is dirt, falling leaves, mist. That's what I was looking for. And now they actually look like hot springs. quite like the way that looks. So let's immediately give them some snow. That's the room here. Now let's see what we can make climbable. Let's actually see what their terrain space is. They can go up here. So from here, I'm not sure if it's possible, but we'll see. Perhaps we'll be able to create something like this. And hopefully they'll be able to climb on it. They are, but they're not able to go on that yet. So we'll make a platform. And we'll rotate it slightly above. Just like that. Then, look, then they have this entire area as well, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and it's lagging. It's so annoying that it's lagging. And we can put some platforms in here. And we can even build a little bridge to the other side. darn cute isn't it even though you get really splashed but that's okay it needs to be slightly in actually it doesn't never mind
I do believe they can use all of that, can't they? Yeah, they can. That's pretty cool. And they also have more than enough, uh, like, this. They also have more than enough animals in there, so that's good as well. So let's see what kind of environments they like. Oh, never mind, let's go back to here. Let's put some trees up here. Hopefully some trees that they can actually use as well as climbing the area. And this they should be able to use. They even place this creepy tree on top, top of here. But I think that is a climbable tree. It's not, it's just a creepy tree. Okay, well, a creepy cool tree. There you go, use it. These cherry blossoms, however, are climbable. I am aware of that, so we can replace... Ah, oh, the moose is about to mate. That's good. Man, again? Who grew up? Like, in a very brief time I was gone. You. Go be in the wild. Man, you have the option of, uh, with the exhibit animals to manage it. I wish you had that with the normal animals as well. Just make sure there isn't more than one male, and if there is, they automatically leave the zoo. I already fixed it, just a minute ago. Go away. I know that, because the keeper is not doing his job. Um... Has reached the other side? Almost. There. Ooh, these are cute. Ah, oh, it's getting dark again. That sucks. Getting very difficult to see something. So we're having quite a lot of issues with our zoo, as you can see here. Uh, a lot of habitat cleanliness diseases, which kind of sucks. Uh, it's just something, you know, it happens once your zoo gets bigger and it's not really something you can do something actively about. Uh, we're just gonna have to deal with it and hope it's not gonna be a big issue. I do believe you have protesters somewhere. I'm not sure where, but we do have them somewhere. We did sell uh, a lot of our animals in the trading center, so we have quite a lot of credit. That's really good. And right now it's just making this rock look actually a little bit prettier. Because this rock is awful. Perhaps if I rotate this... 
Who knows? No, that's awful. Inspector has left report. Well, let's see. Yeah. See, there are a lot of protesters and sick animals. Um, so that sucks. And then our pangolins, the tortoise and the beaver. Um, that was overcrowded. That was one sick. And... Or there was a dead one lying in this habitat, so that kind of sucks. So I'm not really happy with how the inspection went. And our other inspection just has to go better. So the inspector will be back in a few months, and let's hope um, our zoo actually gets a better rating, because I wasn't really happy with this. Now meanwhile, we are working on a Japanese macaque habitat. And I actually quite like the way that it's turning out, to be honest. Like I said, we have this facade hot spring ID here. And they're actually really happy with it, except the fact that they're hungry. And I don't have a... Wait, I do have a keeper. Well, that's surprising. Didn't realize I had a work zone. I don't have a work zone. That's a spare keeper. Okay, well, let's create a work zone, actually. Because I have, like, this big staff area there. Um... New work zone. Oh, the restroom doesn't need to be included in that. Um, yeah, let's do that this and then it will be editable, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, Japanese macaque. Now, it doesn't have any staff yet, so let's see. Um, I want a cleaning guy here on the security. Uh, a vet, a mechanic, and a keeper. And they're all gonna go to our Japanese macaque. Does it happen to be that? Yeah, it happens to be this uh, work zone person as well. So that's a good keeper. That was the word that I'm looking for. Now, obviously, the outside of this habitat um, does require some work still. Uh, so does the outside of all the habitats in this zoo, actually. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to do that, but it's not going to be now. But I have this amazing idea of when I finish this zoo, or in my mind finish it, then we will be um, filling up all these little gaps that we have. with actually some awesome landscaping and attractions, I don't know. Because, like, for instance, here... I want a little lag because I don't want to put a, um, or a lake, sorry. I don't want to put another habitat in here because the space is so small and it really isn't that flattering. But for now, let's put some donation uh, boxes down. Please, people, give money. <laughs> and we should put some benches. I did copy a bench, didn't I? Yeah, there some benches down here and some bins Bin. uh, ooh, I thought they walk right into that and um, even though there aren't even really people walking here uh, I'm gonna place some bins here because I don't think people are throwing trash here so this path will uh, oops, will eventually... Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to connect it with this. I don't think we're going to do that. Um, but back here will be another area. So, you know, that's good. There's a path here. And it's also another area to look into our zoo habitat. Or zoo moose habitat. Which actually, perhaps, is one of my favorite habitats. Just because of the way that it looks. I feel like it looks so nice with a little water here. I'm really proud of that. Look, and they have baby mooses, which is really cool. And you're a young adult. Is this, yeah, you have too much. Let's, yeah, you can go to the trading center. And you are not a young moose. Your child is in the trading center. Your child. Is expecting offspring. Ooh, that's uncomfortable. So I didn't pay attention to that. Now, this area is still really, really crowded. Um, partially because the polar bear is like our favorite animal. And it's still... Ooh, really dead. Yeah. 
It still sucks that they don't have any ch They have a child. I was gonna say they don't have any children, but they do. That's nice. It's not very good stats, but okay. Well. What it's done is done. Now, this habitat. Um, yeah, I don't think I have a habitat. Uh, yeah, see, it's not exactly in for that, so that sucks. Um, yeah, so this needs to be have a water treatment center as well. I place it here. It will clean this body of water as well, which is nice. Because this is clean and this will be cleaned right now. So that's good. Um, perhaps I could even uh, start the lake here. Not that I'm going to do anything fancy, but I just want to have to... Oh. Placed it down here. And again, I don't want to do anything fancy or something, just... I don't want to place this lake. It is Creek uh, Zoo, as you know, so we need to have water, obviously. Also, I keep forgetting this, but I need to... Uh, games, no. Graph, no. Controls. I need to limit the amount of uh, people getting in here. I believe that was in game. Guest settings. Limit guests. Uh, let's limit the guests to five. It's just, it's lagging way too much otherwise. So down here, I'm just gonna oh, I'm gonna press play as well. I'm just gonna build a lake here. I like water, a body of water needs to be in here. I'm not sure what we're gonna place here, but this looks really cool. <laughs> I need to go check in on my lemurs in a minute as well. Because I do believe we're gonna have a lot of lemurs again. Yeah, I need this little items can go. Just like that. And then we'll have some river banks in here just like that. Um, actually, let's just back here and take that research complete. That's always nice. A small blood otter. See, and now if we place the water. See, then we have like this little bit of a. I don't know, like a cave in here with a little bit of shallow water. Yeah. And we have another nice body of water. And because it's next to this, it gets cleaned. That is good. Ah, the inspector has arrived at my zoo. See, this is what I don't get. This habitat is not dirty. Like, physically, it's not dirty. Well, except there's a little bit of poo there. What's underneath here? Can't even get there, but there's something rotting inside of here.
Like there, there's something rotting in there and that's what's disturbing my habitat cleanliness. That bit there. Wow, okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, so we finished the Japanese macaque habitat, now let's see how the cleanliness is doing. Ooh, there it is, there it is. Let's lose maintenance, mechanic, no, 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 a few months. There. People... <gasps> the breathtaking! I literally have to consciously remember to breathe. Don't know what you were looking at while you were standing here, but okay. But I do really like this habitat. I mean, look how cute. Isn't this adorable? There's a little bit of hot springs everywhere. I like it. Steam coming over, different pools. I saw a documentary about Japanese macaques and that's why I came up with this idea. And I actually, I really like it. Also with the nature in there, I didn't want to overdo it. And I feel like this is the perfect amount of nature that one would need in a habitat like that. As I do believe the guests are still happy with it. These guests aren't really happy, but okay. It's okay, you don't know what... The, you don't know what a good habitat is! I really like it. Yeah, I think it's great. Now you can climb up here as well, on this creepy little tree. I like it. Well, I hope you guys liked it as well. If you did, make sure um, to give it a thumbs up, comment, and possibly subscribe to the channel. Also, I do have a second channel. Link is uh, it's in the description down below. So you can check that out as well. And I will hope to see you on the next episode. Bye, guys.